the term global health has kind of evolved over the past decade. And really, I think broadly defined, uh, it's kind of the, the study, research, and practice uh, that uh, focuses on prioritizing uh, improvement of health and uh, health equity for everyone worldwide. And this is different. I mean, we hear the terms kind of like international health and global health used, uh, but they really are different things. Uh, global health, you know, really focuses on everyone where international health would focus maybe on a particular country uh, and may be much more limited in the dis disciplines. And then also public health, uh, which really focuses on communities and more um, maybe on disease uh, prevention. Uh, and then maybe you could call public health, uh, maybe uh, global health, uh, a public health, global public health, more global health, you know, get confusing. But I think getting the terminology right is important and using the term global health is really what we're uh, talking about uh, tonight. And that's really about prioritizing improvement in health and health equity for everyone. Um, in terms of, I mean, the kind of key concepts is basically looking at, uh, you know, the, the, the kind of uh, common good. Uh, it's about the global perspective. Um, it's about um, the different kind of research um, uh, and interventions that are done and also about policy development and financing. So there's lots of different comp key components to global health. <clears throat> But I think it's still actually undergoing a little bit of a refinement in how we talk about it. And in particular for ophthalmology, I would say global surgery is now a particular area of global health that's receiving a lot more attention and, and, and uh, being a kind of better defined. And we've had some kind of landmark papers coming out of here from John Mara's group and The Lancet uh, helping to define this area a little more, which ophthalmology has actually been a leader in for decades where other surgical fields are starting to catch up to us. I actually have a little bit of an interesting uh, background. So I spent five years of my childhood living in Kenya, um, both in rural and urban parts of the country, um, because my father was an ophthalmologist that was doing kind of a stint of global health work there at the time. So uh, during my childhood, I actually really grew up with it without realizing it. And when we moved to the States, when I was in the middle of elementary school, I think at that point I didn't realize the impact that living there had had on me. But um, throughout later in middle school and in high school, I started traveling with my father who was doing kind of surgical global health trips to various parts of the world. And I would tag along with him as his kind of assistant. Um, and the more I did that as I grew up, the more I realized kind of how much there is out there both to contribute and to learn from from participating in that type of work um, and so I think that just really inspired me from an early age and as I went through my high school and college and medical school I kind of continued to seek out opportunities um, in that realm and they just have continued to, to be more meaningful each time. My childhood was probably the exact opposite of Edith. So I grew up in a small town in Nebraska and I didn't know there were languages other than English. I didn't know anyone looked any different than I do. And um, my horizons were expanded when I went to high school in a different state and college in a different place. And so coming from a very homogeneous place, my first real experience in learning about global health was when I was a medical student. One of the plastic surgeons was part of Operation Smile that does missions for cleft lips and palates. And he presented at a venue where medical students were invited. And although it was really not a thing at my medical school at that time, uh, I was so excited. I was absolutely hooked after hearing his presentation. And it wasn't until about six years later that I was able to go on my first mission, which was with Gil Devanisha to the Philippines doing extra cap cataract surgery. Um, but for me, it was the joy of helping underserved people, but realizing unlike in the United States, 
if I didn't go there and do what I did, there's a good chance that it would never have gotten done. And hopefully these people's lives are better because of the surgeries that we can perform. It also, what I get out of it is an understanding of different cultures and people around the world in a way that you couldn't possibly gain being a tourist. You're their trusted doctor and um, you just learn so much more about the world, which you can bring back and, and apply to your, your life, wherever it may be.